This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia and this is your 219 News Now. The city of Gary is set to use about a half million dollars from the Indiana Department of Environmental Management to install fencing and security cameras at two of the city's worst illegal dumping sites. These are in the 1000 block of Clark Road and the 800 block of Chase Street. Both locations contain large piles of garbage and debris. Cracking down on illegal dumping was one of Mayor Eddie Melton's campaign promises and he reiterated his pledge during the State of the City address last month. The Environmental Protection Agency told the Times that it will recalculate the background level of heavy metals for a Town of Pine soil removal program after activists raised concerns about some of the data. The EPA said that it could mean a slight increase in the number of properties eligible for soil removal. For decades, NIPSCO provided fly ash to landowners as landscaping fill. Fly ash is known to contain arsenic, thallium, lead, and other heavy metals. Hundreds of properties in the small lakeside town still need to be tested. And in sports, Andran and Ileana Christian meet in the 2A softball sectional semi final. Alex Landowski brings you the action from that game. Softball sectionals at Andrean continue as the 59ers hosted Ileana Christian in the semifinal. Bottom of the third, Andrean down 1-0. It's a ground ball to Lauren Sherwood with two outs and she makes the play to get out of the inning. Vikings hold the lead. Next inning, two outs, nobody on and Alyssa Mulder hits a big home run over the left field fence. It's 2-0 Ileana Christian now. After tacking on one more run in the fifth, Vikings with another scoring opportunity with two outs in the sixth, and Lydia Vanderwood delivers. RBI single through the hole brings her freshman sister Maya in from second base, and it's 4-0. Top of the seventh, Vikings looking for insurance, and Libby Krikes times it perfectly. Swinging a drive to deep left center field, and that's the dagger. Ileana Christian wins 5-0 and advances to the sectional championship. Jumping to the baseball diamond, Crown Point opens sectional play by hosting conference foe Valpo. Here's a look at that contest. Crown Point and Valpo split their regular season meetings this year. Now the two get together as the state tournament begins. Crown Point plays the role of visitor on its home diamond. After six scoreless innings by both sides, things get interesting in the seventh. Jace Horton comes up with two men on. The junior shoots one to the opposite field. The ball getting past the right fielder. Austin Leeming is in. Right behind him with a big insurance run is a hustling Billy Chidsey. Bulldogs finally break through and it's 2-0. Moving to the bottom of the frame, Valpo won't go quietly. After a triple, the Vikings cash in. Caden Matthews bounces one to short. The Bulldogs take the out of the bag, and Valpo takes the run as Matthew Klavanich scores. Vikings cut the deficit in half, but they would come no closer. Down to their last out, Valpo sends a screamer the other way. Christian Bresno gets on his horse and chases the liner down. Crown Point survives and advances with a 2-1 win. The Bulldogs will meet Chesterton at 5 p.m. on May 24th with a berth in Monday's title game up for grabs. To read up on more local news and headlines, visit JedTV.com and NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this has been your 219 News Now.